They are elegant and beautiful, whimsical and weird. And all of them are covered dishes known as soup tureens. In the whole collection, we have close to 500 tureens. That's a lot of soup. It is a lot of soup. Yes. Leslie Grigsby oversees the collection here at Winter Tour Museum in Delaware. The ones in this gallery, a gift from the Campbell Soup Company. This water buffalo head was made in China in the 1760s for the European market. You know, the details they choose are quite fascinating, like the slightly bloodshot eyes and then the full set of teeth. Well, at least he's smiling, so that helps a little bit. This is not a Thanksgiving turkey. It was made in France in the 1700s as the whole continent became taken with terrines. They were considered a statement of the wealth and sophistication of the owner. Over the years, affordable versions were made for everyday folks. It's a, a goose whose neck goes and is tucked under the wing. Historians have several explanations for the word tureen. Grigsby says the most superb leads to the 17th century French military leader, Vicomte de Turenne. And there was a story that some soldiers came upon him and he was eating his soup out of his helmet. And one famed American military leader owned several tureens. So this is very exciting. I am looking at George Washington's tureen. That's right. It has a type of design on it that shows a little eagle-shaped badge. It's part of a service that celebrated Washington's membership in a group of Revolutionary War officers known as the Society of the Cincinnati. What kind of boat is that? It's a boat that wouldn't go very far <laughs> in one direction, isn't it? <laughs> Ann Wagner is in charge of Winter Tour's precious metal terrains. This fanciful silver vessel was created for Russian Empress Catherine the Great. This masterpiece, made in London in 1824, also has an ocean theme. This is a triton calling you from the sea, and that's very nautical, absolutely. Oh, wow. A twin sold at auction in 2014 for almost half a million dollars. Alas, not every tureen is a thing of beauty. Until I saw some of the ones here, I always thought mine, with its gigantic flowers, was the world's least attractive. But this one's up there, I have to say. <laughs> it's wonderful. A, um, a mother would love it. <laughs> May I serve you? Yes, please. Of course, like most people these days, I rarely take time to scoop soup from a tureen. Do you think the soup tastes better because it came from a tureen? I do. <laughs> I do. You have to have a little bit of magic in your life. <laughs>